So tell me a little bit more about the Axiom Tool Group. Andrew, we launched this company in 2014 after uh, more than two decades in the woodworking industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, through our tenure in the industry, one of the categories that we were very active in was supplying large CNC routers to the manufacturing industry. Um, these machines ranged in price from $100,000 to in excess of $200,000, sure. and they are ultimately the best of the best. They're very accurate, they're very fast, they're very durable, and uh, uh, through that process, we learned how a real CNC router should be built. Mm -hmm. Most of the machines in the industry in this price point are referred to as benchtop machines. They weigh 300 pounds. <laughs> They're not benchtop machines. Right. Uh, and there's a lot of inertia at play here. They're very rapid. They are heavy. Mm -hmm. And as a result, uh, they require uh, a massive stand to support them. So we start from the ground up with a stand that is capable of supporting the forces that a CNC router exerts. The frame itself of our machine is a, uh, an eight millimeter formed welded fly cut and powder coated um, uh, steel frame. The table on our machine, again mm -hmm. suspended over this massive steel frame, the table is an extruded aluminum 40 millimeter thick massive aluminum extrusion. It is not that thick just because it looks cool, although it does. It's, it's cool. that thick because you could park a truck on it. It's extremely rigid, and it's rigid enough that it allows us to take our prismatic guides, which we utilize to suspend the gantry okay. in the y-axis, and if you feel underneath the table, prismatic guides are hanging from the bottom. The they're table. out of harm's yeah. way, they're out of the path of the dust, but most importantly, it gives us the ability to hang the gantry directly from our table. Most of the machines in the industry are built very differently. They take a, a steel or in some cases a plastic frame and they mount either uh, centerless ground rods or prismatic guides to that frame, suspending the gantry to the frame. Not the table. And then the table is independently mounted. Mm -hmm. The problem is when the table moves, an up spiral versus a down spiral bit or a light or heavy substrate that you clamp to the table, when their table moves, the distance between the collet and the tabletop changes. So we've tried to engineer around that by mounting our guides to the bottom of an extremely rigid tabletop to ensure that when and if our table moves, the gantry moves with it. And therefore, the important distance between the tip of your bit and the top of your substrate remains exactly the same. Interesting. So that's a big engineering change, and to my knowledge, we're the only ones doing that, and we've done it to great acclaim. The repeatability and accuracy on these machines is well beyond anything in the industry. There are a couple of other things that are very important to us. Mm -hmm. All of the machines that we build benefit from the same table technology. We run prismatic, high wind style linear guides in all three axes. Mm -hmm. We run rolled ball screws, not lead screws, propelling all three of the axes. And we also utilize, if you look around back, you'll see these little yellow uh, sensors. Mm -hmm. We run magnetic proximity sensors on all machines in all three axes. And that gives the control solution, which we'll discuss, a very unique opportunity to know at any given time exactly where our, the center of our spindle is, where our bit is located. When you start any Axiom machine, you home the machine. And that means Z, X, and Y all go to their zero, zero, zero point. And now the controller knows exactly where the collet is at any given time. We, we really are set on speed and accuracy. And in order to have both speed and accuracy, you must have very rigid components. This is actually the uh, casting that is suspended beneath our tabletop that supports the gantry as it travels back and forth. That is just a beautiful <laughs> casting, but it's also massive. It's and it very, has to be. Yeah. Because all of the accuracy of the machine relies on the fact that that must stay perfectly in alignment regardless of the extent of the travel and regardless of whether the head is to the right or left of the x-axis. So those are components that unless you look up underneath the table of our machine, you don't even know they're in there mm -hmm. and they're beautiful and they're very, very important. So this is something that we at Axiom feel very strongly about. We don't believe that a PC belongs in a workshop connected to a CNC router. A personal computer 
is very good at multitasking. If you want to stream music, and uh, you want to surf the internet, and if you want to operate a spreadsheet while you're checking your email, a PC is king. But when we want to propel a cutting tool through material, we don't need any of the multitasking. All we need is a robust, repeatable, accurate control solution and a digital signal processor, DSP, with a pendant controller is hands down the way to go. Now the industry, in many cases, you'll find, um, you'll find computer-based, software-based control solutions yeah. offered with machines. And basically, uh, and I feel pretty strongly about this, that's me shifting the burden of the cost of a control solution onto you. Because you have to supply the PC, they supply the USB drive with software on it. We believe that this machine will perform better over the long haul and the customer experience will be much, much higher if we provide a rock solid control solution. Our machines are all controlled by either a Rich Auto or a Hust handheld pendant operated digital signal processor whose tasks are very limited. It only knows how to do one thing and that is drive your CNC router and it does that very, very well. We support our customers with not only on-hand inventory, I get instant gratification, you want your machine quickly, we strive to ship orders, we ship machines the same day in which the order is received. We support our customers with a lifetime technical support. That's a big deal. We're never going to tell you we're too busy to talk shop. I don't care how challenging your application is, call us, email us, we're always here to help. I think the one thing that we really do that sets us apart from most of, the, uh, most of our competitors is our level of accessory depth. Whether it's work holding or software or tooling or dust collection, we've got all your bases covered. We've got everything you need to offer you uh, a fully integrated CNC installation. So this is our Pro Series, or what is more accurately called Pro Plus Series. This is the machine that all the magic started with. This is now a four-axis machining center with a liquid-cooled electro spindle, and this has just been the heart of our line. We have, since its inception, expanded in both directions. Mm -hmm. We go down one notch to our Basic Series machine, which allows a user to have all of the accuracy of a Pro Series, but 115 volt and that utilizes a router not a variable speed electro spindle so it's less expensive and it'll run in standard household current and then our newest machine the i2r series which uh, like all of the others comes in multiple sizes that is absolutely the finest entry-level machine in the industry all of the things you know and love about the axiom tool group in a slightly smaller slightly lighter substantially less expensive option now, expanding upward, mm -hmm. here's where the magic really begins. You're familiar with stepper technology. I want to make sure that you really understand the difference between a stepper-driven machine and our Elite Series servo-driven machines. So if you would, I want you to grab this coupler sure. on the X-axis ball screw and rotate it. Feel it clutch and skip as you turn it. Let's go over to the Elite Series machine and I'll show you the difference. You just saw when you rotated the coupler on the Pro Series machine, if you gave it enough force, mm -hmm. it would clutch and slip. I want you to do the same thing here with a servo-driven machine. So what happens here, you'll notice, Interesting. it knows where it's supposed to be, but it also knows where it is in relation to that point. Yeah, and when you twist, it. Yeah. it fights right back. So what is happening is the servo on this machine, this is a closed loop machine, meaning there's communication from the controller to the servo telling it where to go, but then there's a radial encoder on the servo that tells the controller where it is. If those two points differ, even by a minute fraction, the controller sends a signal to the servo that says, push back to our zero point, and that's when you're feeling it fight. Sure your that, load. That that's feedback. Right. That's right. The advantage there is a servo driven machine gives us much higher acceleration, much higher feed rates, and repeatability and accuracy beyond anything uh, that the industry has typically seen in this size or this price point. This is really a stunning machine.